Patients and staff are exposing conditions inside Melbourne's Alfred Hospital as it deals with a rat infestation. They're calling for urgent upgrades, but Daniel Andrews had nothing but praise for his experience in the trauma ward. The ageing Alfred is providing easy access for unwanted visitors. Staff logs have revealed regular sightings of mice and rats in theatres, staff rooms, even droppings in a patient's bed. A showpiece in Victoria's health system is actually looking like a shambles. The hospital says pest activity can be exacerbated during periods of nearby construction and for this reason maintenance visits and active baiting have both been increased. Professor John Wilson resigned from the hospital last year. He says the buildings need to be renewed. Mice and rats are not the key problem but they are an indicator and they're telling us this building is past its date there are holes that these vermin are getting in. Regular inpatient Alex Parker lives with cystic fibrosis. The 34-year-old mother took photos of her ward in June. The care from the doctors and the nurses at the Alfred is exceptional. It's world class. But the physical environment of the hospital is terrible. It's appalling. In this year's state budget, $969 million was allocated to upgrade patient facilities in hospitals across the state. But none of that money was set aside for the Alfreds. I was a public patient. I was in the ICU. I was on the ward. Uh, and the facilities were outstanding and the staff were even better. It is prehistoric basically um, so I'd like to invite the Premier to go into Five East and have a walk around and actually inspect the ward for what it is and I would love to hear him say those same words. Emma O'Sullivan, 7 News.